Following up for you tonight at the end of another very windy red flag day, conditions that contributed to a fast moving fire out in the Peyton area Friday, which forced people to evacuate their homes. Well, now they're back home, able to assess the damage, and for many, they're overwhelmed with gratitude. Our Colette Bordelon live outside the Peyton Fire Protection District Forest. After you spoke with one of the very first people on the scene that day and walking through a neighbor's property, which was badly burned, Colette. Firefighters are hoping for that cold and wet weather to come this week and put out any remaining hot spots. They also gave me a map and new estimates of containment for that fire. It apparently was contained at 25 acres. They say it started right here in this home, which is now destroyed. I went just across the street and talked to the neighbor who lives in this home over here, who was just absolutely shocked to see how close those flames came to her home. That campfire smell just won't go away, and whenever the wind picks up, it's so much stronger. Walking through what the bird's eye fire left behind. It's disturbing to smell it in the house. Jennifer Hickerson's senses are overwhelmed. She'd guessed 10 out of their nearly 27 acres were burned. And this is what is just amazing. What's amazing, how close the flames came, but didn't touch her home. I don't think we would have saved anything had it not been for how fast they worked. Her husband's family has lived on the property for over a dozen years. When you have 27 acres of literal forest, it is so hard to mitigate. It opened our eyes at how much we really need to start working harder. Between here and, you know, February, we know what's coming. So, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of wildland activity. Those with the Peyton Fire Protection District say they were the first to get to the house fire, just one of many fire departments to respond that day. All those resources needed to be dispersed where it was truly needed, trying to stop the fire before it became a problem for more folks. Deputy Chief Oakley Revels says 11 out of 12 members of the Peyton Fire Protection District are volunteers. They serve around 110 square miles. The way of the volunteer firefighter is slowly slipping away. It's a growing problem across the nation, he says. I had 11 people under my own division at the structure alone, and that was not enough to handle the structure. And a fire like the one from Friday is a good example of why more volunteers are always needed. They completely saved this one. Because what firefighters save, like these markers of pets who have passed. It's not just putting out a fire, it's saving families. Is much more than anything money can buy. The fire was within the Elbert Fire Protection District's area, so they took command on Saturday afternoon. The cause is still being investigated. Elbert Fire is working with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office to determine that. Those here in Peyton say it is believed to be a man-made cause, but still undetermined. Reporting in Peyton, Colette Bordelon, News 5.